Hey everybody and welcome to a special episode of Adventures with Peps. We are doing an unboxing, unboxing, I can't talk, amazing, right, oh, I'm way too close to the camera, there we go. I managed to pick this up over the weekend, I got it for $50 Canadian, it was still in shrink wrap, I have unpackaged the shrink wrap because I wanted to make sure it was a genuine box inside. But this would retail in Canada for like 140 which is crazy to get it at 50 plus tax and shipping. It was like $61 or something. I'm so excited. We're going to be unboxing this today. Now, I need you guys to let me know if you want to see more videos on this. I know I have so many projects on the go. So drop me a comment below. Let me know if you're actually interested in some Star Wars Legion or not. There'll probably be videos anyway, because if I'm building and painting it, I am going to record it. But... I just want to know, if you are interested, we'll do deeper dives into stuff. If you're not, it'll just be painting guides. So let me know, let me know, and let's get into the video. Right, first thing of note, this is a big ass box. It's kind of what you expect from Fantasy Flights. I now think it's Atomic Mass. So this is one of the earlier editions, I believe, of the game. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Atomic Mass that now own the rights to it. Look at it, it's a beautiful box. You get stormtroopers, I believe, on two sides, rebels on two sides, and then of course we get this glorious piece of artwork on the front, which is almost impossible to see on camera because the box is so big. Look at that, stormtroopers blasting down rebels, Vader is force choking one of them. It's amazing. Inside, we get all this good stuff. This is what made me super excited. There is 33 plastic miniatures in this box. Now, as I mentioned, I got this around 61-ish dollars. So we're looking at $2 a model. You're not going to get a better price at that. $2 a model is amazing. Plus we get eight barricades, a ton of dice, and a load of other stuff. So let's get into the box. This came really quick. I bought it on my secret Poshmark site that I've been enjoying quite a lot of late. I cannot get the lid off. And this came like two days later. It was so quick. The shipping on this was amazing. All right, let's kick things off. Let's change camera angle, actually. All right, here we go. The box is now open. We get a lovely little learn to play booklet. Now you download the actual full manual off the website. So this it purely shows you how to play the contents of this box. If you want full rules, go to their website. They're free to download. You might as well have a look. But look at it. First page. Basically the figures you get in the box set. Painted up. Looking very nice. It goes through all the different parts. I'm very excited that I picked this up at such a great price. Um, how to build. I'm going to have a good read of over all that. And then, yeah, learning how to set up a battle, how to measure. It just goes through everything. It's your classic guide. It's a pretty short rule book. There's not it's purely rules, to be fair. Uh, it's 32 pages long, including the quick start. But this was the bit that I liked. It's very much reminded me of old... Warhammer 40k so it talks about it as a hobby tells you about collecting organized play being part of a community I remember when all 40k and games workshop stuff this was a big part of their rule books teaches you how to assemble best ways to glue talks about straightening up the parts if you need to how to prep your models for painting even goes through how to paint them or at least that one model. And then we get some great bits. It talks about terrain. Also shows you how to build a piece, which is so cool. They're using pink foam, which is great. Then there's the credit page and, of course, the quick start rules. So that is the get and start booklet. Put that off to the side. We then get... I'm not going to open this up yet because I'm going to lose the tokens otherwise. Nice piece of cardboard. Pretty decent thickness on it. 
got all the tokens that you're going to need for the game. I have no idea how to play this game whatsoever. I've not really explored the system much. I think I've watched a couple of battle reports online, but I didn't really pay much attention. The original price tag of this set scared me off. I didn't need another project that cost hundreds of dollars, but at $50 I had to invest. We then get a ton of baggies, so lots of dice. Mm, let's move everything over. Get absolute handful of dice, no idea what they do. Get some D6s uh, with little triangles on. This one has a fancy badge. Did this one? Oh, it did. Then there's white versions. Three of them. Three of them. Three D8s in red. And white. Then we have D8s in black, which I assume mean different things. And then this is for the turn marker. So make sure we don't lose that. Baggy one is barricades. Probably won't unpack everything, but I'll show you a couple of examples. It's made out of nice hard plastic. It's not on a sprue. It's already been chopped off. Maybe a little bit of cleanup and a soak just to get any dust off it, but they are ready to go. These are going to be great. They're going to be great for Judge Dredd as well. Look at that. Perfect scale. Great cover. I'm going to get a lot of use out of these barricades for sure. We then get the rulers, which are going to be very similar to Marvel Crisis Protocol, I believe. Uh, a range ruler that you have to build, so I'm not going to mess around with them too much until I've read the booklet. Dice bag. Bag of 28 mil bases. Now, what they do, which I found quite nice, Rebels you put on the brown base, Empire put on the black bases. Shows what's what before you get to painting them. It's a nice touch. Vehicle bases, so we got one big base which is for the Rebels, and then two littler bases for the Empire speeder bikes. Oh, I'm not opening bags. I don't want to lose any pieces, so we might come back for building videos. This looks like the Rebel vehicle. Pretty much you get everything in a bag, so you know what pieces you got. And they have a great little plug system. So there's only one way to build them, which makes life very simple. Oh, I was like, these look fragile, but it's the speeder bikes. Look at those spindly uh, arms at the front there. No pilots in the bag, just the bikes, so they're probably in another bag. Oh, here they are. Got uh, it's the scout troopers in that baggie. And then this must be everyone else. <laughs> it's a giant bag of bags. Two clear flying bases. And then the characters. So we'll open that one in a minute. Let me just clear out this box. I think that is everything out of the box now. See what we got here. We'll finish up with the cards because they're probably the prettiest looking. Right, so we have, let's have, let's see, camera, we'll zoom. We've got the Darth Vader head and cape. Let's see if we can, whoop, there's a handle of some sort. There we go, Vader's body. That is very clean, very crisp. There's barely any cleanup on this. That's amazing. I am very impressed with the quality. Should have a quick look at the plugs. There's probably only one way it can go in. I won't push it in too hard. Gives you an idea of what he's going to look like. I guess he's going to have a lightsaber in here somewhere. That looks like Luke's. Like I said, I'm not going to glue these yet because I want to see how they go together. The plastic's a 
bit interesting. It feels like uh, it feels good quality. Like it obviously has took the shape very well. Sorry, I'm just struggling to work out where his arm is going to go. Like I said, I don't want to force anything. There we go. So Vader is going to look like this. If we can get the camera to zoom. Very cool look. The lightsaber's straight. That's pretty amazing. Let's see how he compares in scale. So I've got Orlok the Assassin from Judge Dredd. He is definitely bigger. If I put Vader, if I put Vader on Orlok's base, you can see he is significantly bigger. So they're not going to scale well, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, this is probably the pilot of the Rebels. And then we have Luke Skywalker with his amazing 80s hairdo. Let's try and put his lightsaber on him. He, he's going to need a little clean up by the looks of things. Don't think he goes together as well as Vader did. But we'll work that one out at some point. So yeah, that is the miniatures, or at least a good representation of them. Make sure I don't lose any parts. And then all that's left to go through quickly is the cards. I'm going to try and keep this a short video. What do we got? Right, we got some random cards that I don't know what they do. Ambush, they got glorious artwork on them. Looks like... It's all themed to the Galactic Rebel era. This is probably, for me, the more iconic tri trilogy. If I can get my words out, it's the classic one. It's the one I grew up with. Uh, some mission cards, deployment rules by the looks of it. And then stack cards, maybe? I'm going to say they're stack cards. Very nice. Look at the artwork on them. I love it. So I guess use them to represent your forces. And then there's equipment cards as well. So that is it. Let me know if you want actual more in-depth videos for this and I'll see what I can do. This isn't going to be a big part of the channel in any way, shape or form. I am going to work my way through all this stuff so you probably will at least see painting videos. Let me know if you want how to play rules done or anything like that explained and I'll see what I can do. Otherwise, I do appreciate you stopping by. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye. Uh,